Oh! What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Phil34, and today I'm here with a reaction video to Shadowhunters. This one is Season 3B, Episode 13. How's it going, everybody? In case you're here early, you might be one of my patrons, and I want to give a massive shout-out to every single one of you. In case you're interested in getting the full unedited raw reactions and more, then definitely check out patreon.com slash Phil34 in the description down below. Fingers crossed, again, seriously, um, this works well. I actually was having weird issues where it wasn't letting me screen record for some reason, but... Um, all my audio levels and everything appear to be good. It's actually recording this time, so by the angel. Anyway, with that being said, uh, things have been getting very spicy in Shadowhunters. We had a beautiful poetic sort of tie-in where it, Simon finally got the mark of Cain taken off of him after meeting Cain, and um, the only way that he was able to survive the process was having Izzy uh, give him his blood, and obviously that goes back to her relapsing and connecting back to her previous arc, so very unfortunate to see that happen and i'm wondering what's going to be the like what's going to come from that finally the institute jace um alec know that clary's actually alive and um we're going to see where that goes so with that being said let's get into it as always if you enjoyed this one then be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and uh ho -ho. let's get into it y'all why did you not run forever even vampires tired. Oh. Okay, you four, cover the exits. We're in the Heidi holes looking for Heidi. Capture, not kill. Oh, we got a bad one. That's it. Damn not just enough, I'm taking her down. Nick. Oh, look at you. Did. You have to stop this. It's not my fault that bad things keep happening to me. It is your fault, Heidi. Nick, the mundanes you killed. Simon. I was trying to help Simon. That is not how help works. Says the wolf who drugged me and locked me away in Long Island. Yourself. I don't think so. Holy shit. She got out of there in the nick of time, but Nick didn't. This is the I'm okay. Just drained. You see, I'm so sorry about that. It was a joke. You could have died. My fangs give you a temptation, say the word, and I'll be I can handle it. Okay? I'll be fine. I should get back to the Institute. I don't know if they're gonna bring that back up again. Am I dreaming? No. Mm. Not? No. <laughs> okay, so it's fine. Hi. Hi. Great best friends. Tell me we're not a great this. relationship. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch with my bare hands. You can't. None of us can. Why? Lilith carved this rune into me. Right before your mark blasted her back to hell. All of you, I... I honestly don't know what I would do without you. That's we, what family's for, Fred. We know what they would do without you. Alright, let's get to work. Things would be in disarray. But now everything's coming back to, together. Oh no, she's gonna ask her for my help. Ask him for Magnus, help. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for a root that's native to Lilladon. Are you still having cravings? We found a way to remove the mark of Cain from Simon, but the process nearly killed him. Would you happen to have any of that root? I don't. Uh, without my magic, I can't pull out to France and take some up for you. Perhaps I can ask another warlock to help. No, it's okay. You know, mm. I'm... I'm actually feeling 
a lot better. Find some traditional pen and paper. I can imagine her and Raphael are going to end up meeting up based on this storyline premises. <sighs> and someone's sending a hot email again. The prodigal crazy returns. Where's Raphael? Not here. His shadow hunter girlfriend chased him out of town when she found out about you. But Detroit's only 600 miles away. Take a jog. They'll catch up to me, Griffin. Who? Wolves. They've been hunting me for days, more and more of them. Sounds like you're a problem, not ours. Get her out of here. Yes, sir. Well, you can't deny me problems. help. Camille sired Simon, and Simon sired me, so this is my clan now. This is my family. You mark my word, they'll come after you next. We'll see. I'm pretty sure he's new. I don't remember him. Maybe he Listen was like up. a minor character who's like the leader the now. Vampire killed a wolf last night. I'm instituting a curfew effective immediately. No one goes out after dark. Curfew? Don't you think that's a little extreme? I have a job at night. I can't just bail. This isn't a can can't issue, son. You just will. This guy's always has been an issue. I'd go with him. Make sure that he's safe. I said no. I'm the alpha of this pack now. I make the rules. And anyone who can't or won't abide by those rules can get the hell out. I can't lose my job. No, it's fine. Go. It's so dramatic. You turned him. You can't just kick him out. Watch me. This isn't about protecting people. It's about having the meal at your feet. Let's go, Maya. It's what I thought. Hey, thanks for showing up on such short notice. Of course. Look, nurse, um, I need your help. With what exactly? You aren't thinking about buying this place, are you? <sighs> so you Holy. called in the closest circle code weaver you could find. Yep. Only I person. called in a friend who I trust. Who just so happens to be the closest circle code weaver that I could find him. Oh, Elliot kept detailed records of every arcane item in the shadow world. Uh, hopefully the sword that Jonathan's looking for is listed somewhere inside. If we find the sword, we can use it as bait. How old ago is it sold? How long ago is it sold again? Let's get to work. So what's the uh, sudden emergency? <laughs> the hunt for Heidi's going horribly wrong. She's the Praetor's jurisdiction. Why did you call me? She can't hurt you. I was hoping you'd join our team. Act mm. as our shield. He doesn't have it anymore. I don't have the mark of Cain anymore. Wait, what? It's it's a long, complicated story. I met Cain, strange dude, not very approachable, but he helped me get rid of the mark, so now I'm good. He's got other things to worry about, I guess. Heidi's my responsibility, invincible or not. I'm helping you right here now. Simon, man, I don't know, bro. It's, ooh, be careful. Nice. There has to be a match. Fairly nutty. Listen, this could take a while. You get something to eat. No, I'm fine. I'd rather wait. One second, guys. Oh, it's probably my mama. One second, guys. Hey, guys. Before we get back into the video, I want y'all to meet my my new kitty. This is Dusky. Dusky Rose. She's uh been a part of the family for a couple weeks now. Dusky, say hi. She's actually an inspiring shadow hunter. Yo. Oh, she's gonna connect to the uh, the hospital dude. They might. She might come back to go to him. Dead end on the Morning Star case. I'm still waiting to hear back from other weapons masters. How is Century Green Law helping? Remember those rumors about the downworld prisoners that were being tortured? Yeah, the ones Consul Penhallow categorically denied. Well, I contacted the guards that escorted the Sealy Knight back to Idris, and one of them replied. Oh. Thomas Greenlaw? He says he can tell me what's really going on at the guard. Boom. And he wants to meet. When? Tonight. I'm leaving now. No, I'm coming with you. You can beat anyone or anything. Except for this. It's always going to be there. Like a shadow, just... Waiting for me to let my guard down. Okay, look. I, I did some reading about those mundane groups you go to. The, this isn't your fight. It's ours. 
No one does this alone. Izzy, look, I know you've heard all that before. Just whether it's vampire venom or uncovering clave conspiracies, I'm here with you every step of the way. Come on. For a second, I thought that was veering off into like a little too like manufactured, but the, the, the sentiment at the end was good. And Alex, as a character, has been really you know, strong this season. You always were a creeper. Was well, she gonna make her own uh, legion? Heidi is full. Oh, uh, here gone. you go. She's Your strength. Gone. Gone. Strength won't unlock this, remember? It lived up to the hype. This may actually take a while. If you need to get back to your real job, I'm more than happy to keep taking a crack at the cracking. I can see them trying to line them up, but I'd rather them just be closer best friends. I got suspended. Just... The pack needs you to lead it. Not looking at all the leader the pack needs right here in front of me. You want me to challenge Russell for Alpha? He would rather die than tap out again, and that's if he doesn't rip my throat out first. You don't have to fight him. You just need to get everyone to back you. You'll have no choice but to stand down. Maya, you're alpha material. You're willing to put the pack before everything else. How do I tell people what to do when I can't get my own life to make sense? You'll figure that part out. Yeah, I could see her being pack leader. I mean... <laughs> well, who's going to be the person to talk shit about the, the leader now? Because that's always Maya's job. Where'd you find him? <laughs> or call Just him now. out. We called you immediately. Have you seen Heidi? I know where she went. I overheard her on her cell. She went to some hotel. Okay. Come exactly on. Exactly what she wants, and then everything is going to go sideways. Also, sorry, one second. This the bright light. Test with Lucifer's war on heaven and his clash with his brother, the Archangel Michael. Clary, what's going on? What's wrong? <gasps> this guy is so petty. What's happening? He's burning himself. That stopped. Yeah, for now. I have to get this thing off of me. That's awful. It's I'll too be dangerous. In a state of fear. I don't care. I will carve it out myself if I have to. I am getting this thing off of me. Now. It's a pretty side of Oh, he's fucking dead ass. Look at him. Jonathan, piss. What's the meaning of this? You are harboring a fugitive. Heidi McKenzie. She's not here. She's not a part of this clan. Lying. So I suggest you leave before things get ugly. Oh, power move. Passive aggressive. Now we're pushing. Now the teeth are out. Wait. The eyes are green. This is what she you wants. obstructing Pray to the best business. I don't give a damn what you call yourselves, but you just assaulted the head of this clan. Heidi is in here. Is that not what I just said? <laughs> no, 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 no. She's here. She has to be. Jonathan, you're hiding. Level head, come on. Show these mongrels to the door. Is he gonna carve a message in her hand? Like, <laughs> you better not. Oh, how much you wanna bet they're getting it off the series? Oh! Simon is gonna. I don't know how the other connections are gonna end the series off, but Simon's gonna play a song at Malik's wedding to, to end off the series. And there's gonna be a shot of Luke and Marcy, you know, at the wedding. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I'd love to talk, as you know. Or just it's because there's so much going on in our lives, I guess. So much has happened since we last talked. Yeah, Simon, seriously. I am so glad you're back to your old self again. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Take on a bigger role. Yeah. But in order to do that, I have to put the pack first. You know, so everything outside of that, like a relationship, oh. has to come second. Oh my god! I didn't see that coming! And Simon, you don't deserve to come second. You deserve someone who will love you. The heart and soul. Oh. It's okay. I understand. What we had was amazing, right? With the whole shadow world against us, we proved to them that a wolf and a vampire could be together and be happy. It's pretty cool. It has nothing to do with the shadow world. It's just... Life. It's, I don't know. It's just, it's just... It's just human. I 
You're an amazing guy. Did you know that? Do amazing guys get their family and friends discount on no negative as well? Mm. I really hope they know what they're getting. The wolves. They better not take you for granted. Oof, that hit home. That hit close to home. Ouch. Oof. That was a great scene. I was thinking to myself, I'm like, damn, like, Maya has, they haven't really given Maya much this, in a little bit. I want to see another dope ass scene with her. And, and lo and behold, we get one. Fantastic acting. Um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't see that coming. So, I mean, it makes sense. So, like, we, when he, when he mentioned girlfriend, that was a indication in the writing that something was going to happen. That's why I was like, girlfriend, like, I don't think they're a thing. And that's what came across in the scene. They're officially split. Because now Maya needs to take more responsibility. And I think that's the responsible thing to do and the mature thing to do. And they both analyze the relationship. So, you know, things have changed. Um, what we initially had isn't necessarily there anymore. And I think it's better if we just move on. You know, whether it be for the pack, maybe it's for other reasons. Who We don't know. But that's clearly one of the main reasons they're trying to show us. So um, things happen. People grow apart. The mature way to go about it is to talk about it and just go on. Hopefully they can be friends. We'll see. Damn. But it's leading the pack what she wants, so that's the thing. I, it doesn't seem like it. It didn't really seem like it until they brought it up. Those wolves came looking for you. Uh oh. I think some people are larping. Who did this to you? Celestis Ennis. Inside. Isn't it working? This is already dead. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, wow. We... You don't give yourself enough credit. <laughs> We're really going for it, fuck. Guys? I mean, I'm not terribly... I'm not... I'm not you know what? Go for it. You guys both are... Are single. I mean, I would prefer a friendship, but I mean. I should probably get started with those books. Yeah. Oh, she's happy. I don't know. He's happy. Are you happy too? I was right. The wedding shit's gonna happen, bro. Yo, quote me now. Quote me. I, 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 I'm actually so certain that is. I think what I said earlier in the episode is gonna happen. <laughs> I love you. Would you jump if I tell you you can never I'll love you until I die. Oh. And if there's a life after this, I'll love you then too. I'm kind of like on and off with the relationship, but that was pretty sweet. <laughs> it cuts to Jonathan like. What's going on? Oh god. I'm dead. He actually sending messages. <laughs> Man could have put an emoji. Let's teach a lesson. And I know Jordan realized that. Just he was so aggressive as he realized like oh, I was playing loose again. I knew they were gonna come back. What now? Do you go back to the Praetor? Yeah. He, so if he if he knew that he got set up, why would he not communicate that right away just so nothing else happens, right? And apologize. Like, granted, you don't have to go back there. It might be awkward. Send an email. I'm sure there's 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 an email chain to the hotel. Never mind. But you know what I'm saying? There's no reason for me to stay. Hand him over. Oh fuck! There's blood everywhere. Oh shit! Hey. Ooh. Fuck! Yeah, he did say strap. They got bare holy water. Maya can't be hurt. <gasps> Jordan! Wow. Go. 
Wow, I don't like Come doing on, in here. Tying back my and Jordan. We're not gonna end here. Oh! That was such a good, like, last 10 minutes of the episode. Wow. All right, I'm gonna stop the recording here, just to be sure. And that was Shadowhunters Season 3, Episode 13. Uh, that was a dope episode of Shadowhunters. The tensions between all these factions are starting to get high with the pair of lupus. I thought that was a great start to roll back in Jordan into the story. Um, connecting back Heidi as well, leading to the ramifications where people were getting lied to, you know, candles were happening, which ultimately led to the wolves versus vamp the, the wolves versus vampires in the Jade Wolf. That was a dope fighting sequence. Maya getting some action. Jordan getting impaled. Uh, for a second, I thought they were just going to end it off there where he just evaporates and dies. and But instead, they, they more twist it to where there's going to be larger conflict between the two groups. And uh, the, the alpha now is dead, so Maya doesn't have to challenge him. So now she's actually going to be kind of forced to take uh, leadership of the group. Um, also, I, I love what they did with Maya's character this episode. Uh, and also sort of bringing back her and Jordan um, in an organic manner. Also, we had Simon and Maya connecting back to her again, um, splitting up. Didn't see that coming, but I think the way that they handled it too uh, was was pretty well done. It wasn't like anything in spite, spiteful or anything. It was, it was a mutual thing, sort of. It was a mutual where they both sort of felt like they weren't on the same terms, and I, I, I liked how they handled that. And uh, the Clary and Jay stuff was was fine. I, th I actually thought the uh, Izzy, I, th I thought the Izzy and Alec moments. Like I said, I thought the way that they sort of put it together was a little a little manufactured and not as sincere as I, I I thought her arc was, you know, in the last season or the last time they brought that up with her addiction and, uh, you know, and relapsing and stuff like that. Um, but I thought the sentiment of like, I'm your brother, you know, be honest with me was, was pretty well done. And overall, I actually like this episode. And I'm excited to see what they're going to do now with the second half of this because they ended it off on a pretty massive cliffhanger, y'all. But uh, I guess we'll find out next week. But what did you think about this episode? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed this one, then be sure to smack the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, some pretty big reveals here. I mean, they got together. So Luke and Marcy finally kissed. Uh, they've been sort of back during that. I Like I said, I would prefer them rather just be good friends um but i'm not terrible i'm not upset about if they end up having a romantic interest with one another but what did you think about that uh i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below anyway though with that being said i will see you all next time y'all peace